think we tapped this one out. When we initially broke up and she kind of hurt me, I was like, God, just don't let me think about this girl. Then there was times where it was like, God, I just want her back. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little more picky than others. It's important. So if you're picky enough, you'll find someone just as picky. I feel like because he was so into me for so long that maybe he needs someone like me. If he could just let it go and realize there's other girls out there that could even like suit him better. Well, I don't think it's bad that I want to see you before you left. I just don't like get why. Because we're friends. Are we? I'm making a move. Tony! And I hope we can see eye to eye on things, which has always been kind of a struggle for us. Just pat the belly when you're ready. I feel you tensing up, ready to pounce. I, Watch I, I, your legs, I know, this little. Okay, pat the belly when I'm ready, mm -hmm. and that's go time. It is. <laughs> My relationship with Tony is just romantic. I think I've always wanted a little brother because of his small frame. I feel like I could pick him up whenever and maybe give him a lesson sometime. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're so I always just refer to him as Cassie's boyfriend, but I can't use that title anymore. It's not choking if it's an arm. <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense. If you have the head, you have to have an arm too. Oh my gosh! We just, like a spider monkey. There's some sort of weird technique you have. So we, we did a stalemate right here. Yeah, we have. I'm not gonna let go of you because I'm tired. I'm not gonna let go. Hey, don't let him! I'm not letting him do anything. He's so tired. <laughs> oh no, he's slippery! No! Ow! <laughs> okay. Five, four, three. Oh, I need more cardio on my diet. It's safe to say I underestimated you and I underestimated Alaskan athletes in general. Yeah, you probably did. And for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm happy to be humbled today. I'm just happy to be brought out of retirement. I think when we were wrestling, a drip of sweat came off your face into my mouth. It tends to happen. And I thought that there was no way we could get any closer, but. Actually, if you get an infection, that's the next level. So what do you do, Tony? I'm actually just graduating from Biola with this kid but not in his class. And I do graphic design. Super. Yeah. Super. Do you understand the graphic design? Um... No, but I'll just let that go. My grandma's my best friend. My grandma is someone that I spend as much time with as I can. And all my friends love grandma. I think if you were to talk to any of my friends, like she's just an impossible grandma to not love. Grandma, get this predicament though that Tony's in. Tony, not only is he looking for a job to pay off this debt that he has accrued, but he also is dating the girl of his dreams yeah. and wants to get engaged pretty shortly. Yeah. Here. Well, that's stupid. Whoa. Why, why, why was that s stupid? Do you think that he should He's too young to get married. He should wait What's until he's good... 30. Till How 30? old are you when you got married? I just think he should be older, a little more settled before he takes the plunge or the leap. So you're telling me, as of right now, I'm unemployed. I'm living in a little girl's playroom and I don't have any savings. So you would think it'd be irresponsible for me to propose to my girlfriend. <laughs> what do you think? I mean... You're an educated man. You I tell am. me what you think. My goal right now in life is to graduate from grad school because I want to have my own, like, private practice one day. But then along the way, like there's so many cool things, like opportunities that become available down here. Like I don't, I don't want to be closed-minded to anything else. It's hard for me sometimes to make really big decisions because I don't know if it's what I want or if it's not. I mean, that's why my brain's so scattered because I just don't know. So maybe if I want some, one thing from God, it would be to make kind of my path clearer to me or make me content in it not being clear. I missed you. I haven't seen you in like an entire month. I've barely talked to you too. We've I talked know. like five times. It's because we had such a weird time difference. But, but you're busy. It's because it's you so, so like... pretty right now. 
Am I glowing? Yeah. Michelle's my best friend. She actually just got back from filming a movie. And this is her third movie. Yeah. And she's always doing auditions and acting classes, meeting with a coach, and she's busy. How was your time? Tell me about it. It was like 14 hour days every single day. So it was exhausting, but it was so much fun. I want to meet all your new friends. I know, I'll tell you all about them. <laughs> Kendall is one of my, I would say she's one of my best friends. She's crazy and weird and annoying at times, but um, I know she loves, like she has a good relationship with the Lord and like she wants to strive to be like a good woman of God and I admire that a lot. We talked a lot about like past relationships and stuff and I don't know, just always feeling like Kaylin deserves someone who like was on the same page as him. I really feel like the Lord, even with China, like calls you to these places to literally be isolated so that all you have, what I'm being honest, is just him. I like was you so lonely in China so I know, I know. Do you see where it's like a little bit stressful though? Cause I agree with you and that could be it. But if I was being honest, I'm going to the Philippines and like I just told you, like my Biola plan, like I'm gonna graduate, get married, know, start life. But, but now it's like, I'm signing a long-term deal. I come back home, I get older. The nice older. Christian pretty girls get married. Remember when we were in a life group? Gone. Everyone in our life group was older and single. Wait, not that that's gonna be your life. But like, <laughs> I, get, I get it and I get that it's like scary and that the Lord kind of like flips our plans upside down sometimes, but I wanna be there for him and care for him, but like also encourage him in the fact that like there are better days to come and other girls out there. I think that's been the hardest thing. It's, everything revolves around this Cassie stuff and it's like if he could just let it go and realize there's other girls out there that could even like suit him better, I don't know. Robert. Hey, Tony. Glad you showed up. Yeah. I was worried you weren't coming. I called you a while ago, but... Um... Yeah, Tony and me, we were roommates in college for a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably start wrapping things up by then. It's, it, it's just kind of distracting. I'm really Ooh, trying to get... Ow. Look, you're not doing that good. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Okay. Hang on, I got this. I mean, when you graduate, you just move on for whatever reason. You don't really run into people a whole lot. Through uh, a couple different friends, I've kind of come back into the circle for crazy random things like this. What is this? What are we doing here? Okay, so basically, I've got a whole bunch of model train track that I'm filming uh, going across the rocks and into the ocean. And I'll put a camera on it so you get like a first person uh, point of view perspective of going to Atlantis is the theme. Is this what you're doing for a living? Yeah. It's a privilege to be out here in the out great outdoors exploring it. You know, I could be stuck in some cubicle somewhere, but hey, here I am about to slide down a 400 foot cliff with some uh, model train track. What's not to love? The last time I remember discussing Kalen, it was when he freaked out at you because you guys were hanging out and you, and then you were like, I thought that we were just friends. You didn't see him for, for a month. how long? A month? Literally a month. Did you guys talk? No, we didn't even talk. I don't know if it's just not the right timing for me with him or if he's just not the guy for me because if he was, then I would be 100, I just wanna be 100% in if I'm gonna get back into it. But aren't you kinda happy? Why would I be happy? I mean, I don't have any doubts about my decision not to be with him. Oh, well this is the first time I'm hearing you say you have no doubts because every other time you have said that you have. Because before you were like really worried about it. You're like, could I be happy? Could I not be? Getting back with Kaylin, I know where it's gonna go. Like we're probably gonna get married and have a family within like the next like three years if we <laughs> start talking right now. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if Kaylin's right. And so I don't wanna, I, want, I don't wanna settle until I know something's right. I know you feel differently with me on this, but timing isn't everything. I think it's the right person too. I don't think, if I think if timing's bad, it doesn't really, like yeah, it matters, but not that much. Yeah. If Kaylin is the one for you, then you would know that and you would be with him. Are you gonna see him before he leaves for the Philippines? I don't know, he, he... Did you get what you really want? My motivation, I don't, I don't think I'm as talented as some of the guys that I play against. So it's stuff like this, but I don't know from a young age, 
because I started off undersized and stuff like that. I have to find other ways to compete with these guys that are actually good at my sport. One thing was like being more physical and just playing as hard as I can, but having like a fit body is something I can control. It's just been a way to balance out the competition, I guess. So are you ready for the season or what? I took like two weeks off because I hurt my back squatting. So I was like, I was, I was feeling like I was in good shape and confident. So now I had like an extra two weeks and trying to like make that push to. Here's the thing, we need to get him ready for a season. Yeah, that's not. Got home, my back hurts, I had two weeks off. <laughs> Andre is this big-headed, annoying ogre of a person, but he's also someone who I met when I first became a Christian, and I really looked up to him and admired him and the person he was, and to be honest, he's someone who I look at and I think in my head I want to be just like this guy sometimes. The journey for him is similar to the journey for all of us, which is making God the, the place he looks to for joy and satisfaction and, and hope. And I think he's wrestled with his relationship with Cassie over the summer. And, and I think misplaced hope can lead to some sorrow, and he's been dealing with that on and off. But God has to be first. If second things become first, then we lose it all, and first things are first, and everything else sort of falls in place. Come on, squeeze it, just squeeze it. Okay, second, just second. Next round, don't be hooked, hooked. Robert, this doesn't look like it's working out for you. No, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, just the box is a little heavy. Like, without the box, I'd be fine. Really, Are you I mean, this much in student debt that you have to climb down this terrain? No, I'm, a I'm actually doing all right. Money-wise. How are you doing okay money-wise? I'm drowning. My parents helped me out with college. Yeah, oh. So you don't have a care in the world. I, I drove an hour out here to talk to you specifically about student loan debt. What? You're not here to help me with my track? Well, that was um, on the back burner, but after seeing what I would have to go through, I'm gonna have to pass on that. All right, uh, uh, here's, here's a good, oh man. Here's a, here's a good metaphor for student loan. Uh, so imagine this box, this heavy box you're carrying around with you. It's your student loans, you gotta pay them off. Uh, like, like I'm trying to take the whole box right now, which is a bad idea. But if you just take a little bit of it at a time, as much as you can, and you unload it, like I take, I take these tracks, you know, pay them off. I think student loan debt is one of the worst things to ever happen to America. We are in a situation where student loan debt actually surpasses credit card debt. I literally already have a mortgage, which is my student loan. I'm not making you stay here, Tony. You have my full permission to leave and uh, go back to your life, but instead you're just watching me struggle here. On well, the this is this more cliff. interesting than applying for jobs. But it's not going to get you money, man. Every time, time is money. Every hour that you're not working is, uh, is money lost, really. Do you know what I just realized? <laughs> what? That we're both single for like the first time in our lives at the same time. You're right. I've been waiting for this moment. I, we used to talk about- We used to, we used to talk we used about to this moment dating. when we were dating people. We're like, why are we we're both, both not single? single together? That's so messed up. I would love it if a guy just told me what we were doing instead of being like, what do you want to do? Yes. Just take me somewhere. Don't act, like, don't even tell me. Just, just be like, like, I have, I have a surprise. Oh, someone did that to me, but I, know, I wasn't same. into him until I, was, I, I was, didn't go. I was into this guy. Oh, probably gonna be fun. Didn't work out. But I was really happy in the beginning. I don't like it when I don't know a guy very well and all of a sudden it's like one-on-one. -on -one. Like it kind of freaks me out. You like Unless I'm really, really into him. But I think I like root settings better at first. And then if really? I'm really into him, I like to like branch off a little bit. So I don't know, something with the group so would be fun Do you know what my me. ideal perfect date would be? Sitting on a Duffy. Right now. At this time, in a group. it's my favorite. In a group. Oh, well, people I like a group of people. Like, I'm on a date oh. with you. <laughs> you. You missed it. <laughs> We're on a sister date. This is my favorite kind of date. 
This is my favorite kind of date. I do want to get married. I could meet the right person tomorrow. I could meet the right person in a year. I think God should be the foundation of that relationship, especially because, I mean, I'm a Christian. That's the most important thing to me in finding someone. So I think God fits in every single area of our lives, especially a relationship as important as finding your life partner. So seriously though, when's the last time you've been golfing? Uh, stoked you're here, but probably a couple months ago. Boomer's mini golf. Are you being serious that the last course you played was Boomer's putt-putt? I'm legitimately... What was the last time you played real golf? I've never played real golf. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're literally... Oh shoot. Dude, that was good. Your move, Tiger. <laughs> Back up a little bit. Seriously, what did I tell you about golf etiquette? Shoot. He has no golf etiquette. The kid has no business being on a golf course. What do you mean? Back up. I'm gonna backswing straight into your face. This isn't allowed either. Okay, you don't walk behind a golfer. Can you stop? You don't mean to move! I know, stay right there. No, why are you stepping? <laughs> stay right stop. there. Tony. Can you knock <laughs> it off? Stay. <laughs> Oh my god. Just play. Just I'm, stop. I'm just adjust it. Gosh, that's a beautiful shot. Into the water? Come on. I didn't even see where it landed. So if you got a job next week, you would propose when? I think the first thing I would do is buy that ring. Tony Walsh. Welcome to Spear Marketing. Hey, you I'll, leave. I'll be back in uh, three hours. I gotta go buy something. Tony Walsh, you're fired. Now that ring's useless. <laughs> I gotta go return something. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good day at work. <laughs> That'll be a whole flurry of emotions. That's crazy. Yeah. Because marriage is gonna be forever. So if you get this job, that's like a symbol of the start of the rest of your life probably. I mean, I could literally go and buy a ring today and propose, but like, I, go, I would be going into it unprepared and providing unnecessary hardships. In the same way that you're trusting God to help you find a job or land where you're supposed to, whether it be Alaska or here, yeah. couldn't you trust God in that same way for the proposal? Maybe just go gun ho even without a job and propose and just trust God's gonna take care of you and provide from that standpoint, no? For myself, like I wanna get married now and I'm ready to do that, but, I, but something just keeps telling keeps holding me back and telling me, just be patient. What, what the heck? That's crazy. He didn't even say four. <sighs> Let's go on. We're losing daylight anyways. Throw that back at me. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. You better believe It's gonna be a hot, hot summer I'm rolling asleep Cracking on tight a little. Bop. <laughs> You're making a mess. And toss. I do have a story for you about hard boiled eggs, and I'm gonna make you one. First and only time I tried this, I think I put it in for a minute, and I just thought it was gonna be fine. Egg exploded everywhere. Mm -hmm. House smelled like egg. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna try for just 30 seconds off the gun. Should we be looking at it like this? I don't think it's bad for you. Yeah, everyone told me it was, but I don't really believe them. Okay. Um. Dude, it's feeling firm. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Just nice and easy, okay? <laughs> I thought it was gonna work. 30 seconds. <laughs> it's a microwave. It's supposed to kick stuff fast. Yeah, the fact you could reach into the water and pull the egg out and the water itself wasn't hot, should have proved some sort of warning sign. Does any part of this egg look cooked on my face? Dude, okay, can I just tell you what Cassie texted yeah, me? Yeah, sure. She wants to meet up before I leave. Why does she want to meet up? She probably just wants to see me before I go because I'm leaving for so long.
Why? <laughs> you have the egg on your head still. Well, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> Thank you. I have never, ever felt the way about a girl that I felt about Cassie. Not, not even remotely close. We broke up after a series of events and I immediately after that breakup had always wanted to be back with her. From my understanding, it was just, I'm a great guy, but not for her right now. I'm not nervous to talk to Kaylin. Like, why would I be nervous? We, we know each other so well. I don't know, I'm not nervous, but I, at the same time, I just, I don't know, I just hope there's no hard feelings. Like, I wanna always be friends with him. So I hope it just goes well. And I hope we can kind of see eye to eye on things, which has always been kind of a struggle for us is to see eye to eye on certain things. So you wanted to see me before you, I left? Yes. Is that bad? I just don't. It's not bad. I just don't know why. You're going to be gone for a year. Yeah. But we also haven't seen each other for like a, a month. month. Yeah. It's been so long. It has been. Well, I don't think it's bad that I wanted to see you before you left. I just don't like get why. Because we're friends. Are we? When we initially broke up and she kind of hurt me, I was like, God, uh, like, just don't let me think about this girl. Like, that was messed up. Then there's conversations with God where I wanted Cassie back, and it was like, just like, let me be filled with grace. Like, I want to like forgive. Then there's times where it was like, God, I just want her back. <laughs> In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Today, the beginning is my life financially, and I'm gonna sell these t-shirts, hopefully gain a little extra revenue. We are gonna be making t-shirts with my little wood block over here. I utilize um, traditional Japanese wood carving techniques, well, I chose the word catastrophe because that's kind of how I feel like my life's in right now. A big old catastrophe. Or it will be if things don't change soon. We're painting happy trees today, folks. And we also got this little compound, cobalt dryer. It's highly poisonous and could kill you if not handled correctly. But it helps the shirts dry, so I'm gonna put a little in that. The, the sound you're looking for from a roller is like you're scratching a scalp of a, a very elderly man. If I don't get a job soon, then I'm gonna need to go back to Alaska. I don't know if I would come back, and I don't know what would happen between me and Delaney. Oh, please work. Oh. All I got was the word catastrophe. What an appropriate word for this situation. <sighs> I'm just confused because you say that, like you care about me and you wanted to see me before I left. And I was just, I'm surprised you care about me. That's what I'm saying. So I'm asking in that situation. Me? I'm not kidding you. What I don't do know where you're your head's surprised at. I care about you. You tell. That's so dramatic. Okay. I'm That's dramatic. I literally go hang out with you, your mom, your dad, your aunt, and like your aunt and your mom, who I'm assuming that you have honest conversations with, are like having me to the side, telling me like, be patient, uh, like Cassie really loves you. She told us today she really loves you. Like she really cares about you. I she do. thinks you would be the best husband, the best father, like all this stuff. <laughs> like this is your family. I don't know why you're being frustrated with me. I'm and not it's being like, I just don't, I don't understand then, like, if you're telling your own family that I don't get, like... My family loves you. So it was them just saying it, it no, wasn't your No, and feelings. I do too, but... I'd rather you not tell me that, like, you love me or, like, care about me or thought I was going to be a great this or okay, great yeah, that and made me feel that way. I, oh, but then you're like, you don't care about me at all, and I'm like... That's way better. You don't have to be, like, sugar-coated. That makes you like, seem heartless. Like, then what... I do, though. You really like me. You're agreeing, you said you love me. 
But what? What is it? You don't. I don't know. I mean, you, don't, you don't know. I don't know. It's not wrong for me to not know. Frustrating. Okay, it's frustrating, but you just have to accept it. Because I, like, I have I just like don't know. an I don't idea know. of what it is. So maybe once So many times, so many tears. You don't know. You, it might be me, like in your mind, that we end up together. That's Does your thought. Maybe. You don't know, right? Does anybody ever really know? I just had no idea. You just got upset. It was my intention that we would like, be okay, on good terms, whatever. I thought that was how he wanted to leave things. And now it's seemingly not the case. Even with this Cassie thing, like you're in a good place. You have potential to slip in and just put you in I have no idea how my relationship with Cassie is gonna end. I definitely don't think that me trying to be her friend helps me in closing that chapter completely. Somehow I just always find myself sucked back into thinking about her. No, all the You're telling me if I was walking down the street wearing nothing but this shirt, you wouldn't be like, it's a cool shirt. Nothing but the shirt, and I mean nothing.